I believe it is better to stay away from windows as much as possible. Blow such a cold from the glass. This is a collective farm. This is pulling. Please install hidden loops on the windows, I beg you. The lamb, which is attached before the single chamber, is also fine. There is argon filling, there are warm frames and so on. Forgive me, these systemists, don't be offended. He's not warm at all. This will simply spoil the entire appearance and exclusivity of this cottage. Looks awful. If it's okay, please. Now I'll ponder what else to say. Seems like everything about doors. Friends, hello everyone. We are at our next object. Such a massive, enormous, stunning cottage. 360 square meters of glazing, structures with a skylight, sliding doors, stained glass, facade glazing. Against this object, I'll make a video for you now with condensed info on choosing aluminum glazing accurately for a cottage. Watch and learn from this valuable guide. Solutions. From my years of experience, I've gathered the essence to save you time and avoid wastage of your valuable time. To choose the right and correct solution, not to make a mistake and have everything go well for you. And now they paused, put likes, subscribe to the channel, and let's go with me. The first thing that the choice begins with is the profile system. There are dozens of them on the market. There are premium and economy class. But still, if we talk about premium ones, the most common ones on the Russian market are Shuka and Rainer systems. Shuka, this is Germany, Rainer's Belgium. I have many reviews of these systems on my channel, high quality European solutions. Alatech Belarus is represented in our domestic market. They have made great strides in recent years with many technical solutions, high quality materials, and they are already approaching this premium segment. Uh, there is a more economical segment, for example, Kraus, Vidnal, Forgive me, these system vendors do not be offended, but the little economical segment. The price discrepancy is substantial. Occasionally, it can be twice as high for specific solutions. And I can affirm, based on my personal experience, that it is not without reason. There is a tangible value to be paid for. For technical solutions, for the quality of materials, the quality of the aluminum alloy itself, the quality of seals, all kinds of plugs, inserts, rubber bands that are not visible to the eye, but they improve the quality of your design, it will not blow or freeze. So you are certainly inspecting your wallet, but I would not recommend going any lower in terms of price. Uh, well, this is my subjective opinion. So when it comes to selecting technical solutions, we can primarily discuss facade glazing, which is the most prevalent, because currently everyone desires spacious openings, everyone utilizes facade glazing. Profiles 50 minimum wide, 50 minimum wide. So accordingly, you should first comprehend for yourself whether you desire to have full height double glazed windows or separate them. If it's max, it will be immediate. More costly and much pricier there due to thicker glass being used, more double glaze and heavier installation, plus greatly impacts glass cutting. If you cut, well, when a large double glazed window and poor cutting on a jumbo format of 6X3200, then the cost of the double glazed window per square meter is much pricier. So here these jumpers are manufactured. If they do not bother you, you can leave them. If you feel uncomfortable and desire additional panoramic views, then opt for full height windows. But if double glazed windows are made to full height, then there is a question of opening elements. In this spot, if it's cut off, at the upper part we have a window used for ventilation purposes. Hidden drive, Tiptronic Shuko, controlled by a button and it has ventilation. If there was a full height window, then there it was already necessary to bother with solutions for ventilation. They achieve full leaf height. But often they don't even provide the opportunity for ventilation. Because now in modern houses they install very high quality ventilation systems, which allow you to not open the windows at all in principle. There is a fresh air inflow and temperature maintenance, providing you with comfortable air. No need to open windows for ventilation due to the comfortable temperature and air. Uh, I believe it's better to move away from the windows, ventilate them, make them panoramic and create a good system with precise exhaust ventilation. Everything will be cool for you. And one of the most crucial is the choice of sliding glazing. Behind me are classical lifting and moving systems. The AS80HI system made by Shuka Company is utilized in this particular look. It's important to understand that standard lifting systems have a 
So here there are vertical parts of about 100 mm profile, horizontal parts everywhere about 100 mm profile. That is, each sash goes around the perimeter in the profile. Accordingly, if you have panoramic glazing and such type of sliding systems are integrated into it, they will stand out significantly because here we have a lot of profile of the sliding system in one glass unit. This is a typical solution. It is not the most high-end, so panoramic systems can be implemented in this case. ACC 77PD, e.g., there's a search or Highfinity at Reiner's. They're similar. Their principle is that they have thin vertical profiles with a visible width of 35 mm and no horizontal profiles. The frame is completely embedded in the floor and the upper frame is also embedded in the ceiling. Only the glass unit is visible along with thin vertical mullions. I'll rent you such a system separately, but if you have a premium property and want everything panoramic, then you need to go for these solutions. Yes, certainly, premium systems are considerably more costly than standard ones, but it is worthwhile. That is beauty and panoramic view. Next, to grasp the dimensions. These are vital technical data, i.e. what the system enables. Standard systems can only be up to 3.5 meters high. Panoramic Shuka systems are also limited to 3.5 mm in height. Reiners can be a bit higher there. There are still non-standard solutions. We have them too. For instance, there are unfastened systems with a height of 3.7 meters, 4 meters, and even 5 meters. This is not Shuka anymore, not Reiners. These are special systems. For instance, we utilize Solarlux, the German system name, Airlux Swiss, very unconventional solutions, various inflatable seals and so on. So this is really such a super premium, I would say, when you have a very large size of the sash. You also need to consider not only the dimensions of the capabilities, but also the weight. Everyone wants warm glazing, double glazed windows, so the standard ones are up to 500 kilograms of sliding. But these Solar Lux ones can weigh one sliding sash up to 200 tons. Thus here you only need to select a solution for your residence, for your budget, to observe externally how everything looks. Avoid making mistakes. And if the opening is not full height, you have the option to create a solid facade glazing from above, which allows you to understand the situation better. So it is integrated into the facade. The facade is top hung, so it is similar to hanging on the top plate. And here is the development from below. If it doesn't bother you, please, a normal solution, standard, not very expensive. For a cooler option, I explained available solutions. Let's proceed. Now I'll discuss windows and doors. Regarding windows and doors, the key is the width of the thermal bridge in the profile and the presence of foam inserts. Foam inserts must be mandatory in any case because these foam inserts reduce the transfer of cold by convection, that is, directly through the air. Because you have aluminum cups, one outside and the other inside, and here's the one outside, it's cold and the cold is still transmitted through the air. If there are no foam insulators inside these cups, then most likely, when you approach the structure from the inside to the window, put your palm, it will be cool because convection is transmitted to the air. These inserts reduce this convection and significantly improve the technical performance of the window, which is very cool. So what about thermomost? 304 millimeters, it's just a minimum. 72 series of Lutec. Please do not look at any 62 or any cheaper analogs there. Called warm aluminum. He's not warm, specifically for commercial buildings, for a kind of store. But for a private house, you need to take a proper system. That is Alotec at least 72, Shuka 70 kara minimum, AVS better than 75th, 90th systems. If we are discussing Rainers, then it is either Masterline 8HAI or Masterline 10. Generally, cool system warm. Take something warmer so thermostat is wider and these inserts, yes, I repeat. Please use concealed hinges on windows for hardware. I beg you, this is a mess. Just regular loops on windows. I've mentioned in a video that regular hinges, firstly, are visible, secondly, whether it's average or not, but this inner seal is cut out when installing the hinge, which means the ceiling contour is violated. Hidden loops are not that expensive, especially for a private house, cottage, therefore the loop must be hidden. Do not install regular aluminum handles. Here is a balalaika, 100 millimeters, and the handle is huge. It will look terrible, it's already outdated. They only install it in cheap glazing. Hence, there are cool ones from any manufacturer, both from Shuka and any fittings like Zigenia, Rota, etc. 
The pen without a socket is round and it's so neat. Well, now we will display all these photos on the screen so that you understand. As such, handle, sand socket, under gearbox, hidden hinges on windows. We talked about this. If we talk windows, e.g., like here, you see? The windows, they are a little high above the ground, so it is difficult to open them. Uh, please do not use this manual mechanical opening, this handle. It's a collective farm, these poles, it's all visible. And you pull this handle. Don't install overhead automatic drives because it's such a hassle attached to the sash and it's all visible. This spoils the appearance. Now there are many solutions for hidden drive and there are not very costly ones, there are pricier ones. For instance, here's our dog. If you look from inside, there'll be nothing. Only a window, all loops hidden, hardware inside. It's called Tiptronic Automatic Transmission, controlled by a button. We are pulling out a hidden wire and there is a plug on the wall. Traffic congestion, oh my god, button. So you press the button and a window opens for you. Therefore, if you opt for automation, then only hidden. As for the door, so the doors, there is the ADS 70HI system, but it's better actually to put the 75th series on the doors, at least in a cottage. And see if there is this door, some hallway or common area like here, then you can make it from a regular door series. In this particular area, she lacks any type of perimeter locking. Instead, there is a standard lock present at this location. If we possess any residential premises, then it is advisable to create a legal partition in order to enable the ability to secure it around the perimeter. Regarding the handle, check it out. Some need a pen from both sides, some don't need a pen from outside. For example, if it's a second floor door with a balcony exit, you can have a handle inside that locks all around and outside just a pull handle, like a small one on the balcony latch. If it's just to go out on the balcony and come back in, then you don't need an outside handle. Because if we put the handle outside, you should know immediately that a lock is required. Lock, profile cylinder, any handle. If it is outside, it should then be locked so that a person cannot get inside the room from the outside. So, if we talk about the door system, then as for the lock, there is a choice of technical solutions. I mentioned hinges, but you can't see them here because they are hidden hinges. They are embedded in the profile such hidden hinges are the coolest solution that can be and I recommend everyone to install hidden hinges if you don't have a lot of doors in the cottage let's say five or ten well it's not that many oversee substantial budgets the visual appeal is greatly enhanced if not concealed for example if you truly want to optimize the budget then at least consider using roller blinds roller they also have hidden fastening they are like this neat black or gray ones can be or even stainless steel ones can be acquired However, it is never simply a taboo to put overlays or hinges like those found in stores under any circumstances whatsoever. Pay attention, who is there in Magnet or Payateroshka or any store? Come in, here are the standard surface mounted loops. Well, let's also display the picture on the screen now, it just looks terrible. So for a private house, this is prohibited. Multipoint lock, if on door, is perfect. It's also not very expensive. You need to install it for added security. Push button headset. Here are stainless steel push fit fittings. This is a common topic, and we are currently implementing it in many houses. And it is cool because he is, you know, massive. In the hand, you can feel this metallic, this weighty sensation. I suggest stainless steel. They're pricier, but they're really awesome. Standard, not painted. Somewhere the paint can peel off. He has aluminum in his hand, lightweight, stainless. He is definitely very cool. Here, regarding the door closers. Here, if you take a look, the closer is also hidden from view. It's necessary to have a hidden persuader. They don't cost astronomical amounts of money either. Yes, they are more expensive than usual. Approximately there, it is three to four times more expensive. But this is not global in terms of the entire cost of glazing. But it looks cool. That is, it's completely hidden. You can't see him with the door closed, neither from inside nor outside. But at the same time, he forcefully shuts the door on you. As a result, it annoys her, right? He can also be secured in the open position like it is shown here. Here I repaired the door, now it is open. It is a standard pusher and it sticks there from the inside. It is fixed with screws, just like a big plate. Also, if it's not with a sliding traction but with a regular one, then it's also such a traction sticking inward like in some cheap stores. This will completely spoil the entire appearance and exclusivity of this cottage. Hence, debaters must make a choice from the available hidden ones. But in general, you can still talk a lot about windows and doors because there are a lot of different solutions there. For example, such windows can be made in a structural design with upper suspension and automation and there are doors of various combinations. But we will not delve into it, so I will try to give you only the most... 
However, you are aware of my whereabouts, as my contact information is provided in the description. I'll always assist and advise you, and I'll be able to focus on your project and choose the required technical solutions, which is crucial. And finally, one of the most important things is the choice of double glazed windows. Where does it start? Single or double chamber? I recommend using only double glazed windows in private houses, regardless of the size of your glazing. There are a lot of people in the market who say that single chamber is also fine. There is coating, argon, warm frames and so on. But in fact, according to all heat engineering calculations, a double glazed window is approximately 50% warmer than a single glazed window. Therefore, with a large area of glazing, indeed with single chamber units, there will be significant heat losses from the house and you will have to put in more effort with the heating device, resulting in the loss of more energy and accordingly impacting your wallet. Therefore, it is better to have a two chamber one. And also, in terms of single or double, in my experience, it is a bit uncomfortable to be near a stained glass window with a single camera because there is still a slight chill from the glass. If you make a very warm double glazed window then this will not happen and the glass will be really very warm. When deciding if it's single or double chamber, the key is to determine the glass format, i.e. the dimensions of glass units. Here for example they are divided like this. Here you see yes on the stained glass, but they can be broken even more. Let's assume we have objects, there will be a video shortly, where the stained glass is 8 meters in height and the glass unit measures a total of 8 meters. Given that in Russia at the moment only 6 meter ones are made maximum, 8 meters can be made and 10 and 12 meters, but this is brought from Europe by order. This also costs money, but for example this stained glass could have been made as a single package and it would have been even cooler. Certainly the more, the pricier, you must grasp this as the glass weight promptly increases, the thickness of this glass and so on. And by the way, uh, I'm moving on to the next point, which is the correct choice of glass thickness. I recommend everyone to contact such companies well, like Guardian, Pilkington, AGC, which are glass manufacturers and suppliers, because only these companies have special software. On their software, they simulate all wind loads in glass format and select the optimal shape for the double glazed unit such as the required thickness and so on. Because I know for example what it should be but I face competitive offers, customers do not understand. Here for instance there is a 10 of glass with an outer thickness but someone would place an 8 or a 6 in order to render your commercial proposal more affordable. However this leads to significant issues as the external glass affected by wind load and fluctuations in temperature particularly during cold winter conditions gradually begins to descend slightly, resembling a sinking motion. Bend, and this causes the lens effect. So you look at the glass, we even observed this effect here when the house was not yet heated, for example. This often happens when the house is not yet heated. Accordingly, the glass can bend slightly due to temperature changes in winter. We have observed this on some double glazed windows here, where we had, for example, a six pack of glass, it is better to use an eight pack. For example, on corner double glazed windows we had it, now we fixed everything, did it right, aligned it perfectly. This is a real problem, not just myths. I've personally encountered it with these issues. Had to replace these double glazed windows, install thicker glass. Particularly this lens effect is evident when the double glazed window is made of mirrored glass. So if it's multifunctional glass, like here, then it reflects and this lens effect is even more pronounced. Therefore, it is crucial not to skimp on this and select the appropriate thickness of glass, particularly for the outer glass pane. The following moment is security. This format, in case you produce raw glass, is simply nonsensical. Uh, I don't know who does it, but I meet people at the market who constantly offer it. And if it breaks, if some kids throw a stone here and these pieces of glass just fly down, God forbid they hit someone there. Thus, all the exterior windows throughout the entire house ought to be constructed using tempered glass. Not only external, but also internal. Let's make the outer ones tempered. Or the second option is to make the outer ones tempered. Make the inner ones triple glazed with two triple glazed glass panels. When it breaks, it does not fall. It stays on the film. Additionally, triplex blocks ultraviolet rays. That is, for example, if you are worried that your furniture will fade from sunlight and so on, then by installing triplex, you will eliminate this effect because it blocks ultraviolet rays. And 
Additionally, security and a triplex, for instance, named Stratofoon. It possesses enhanced sound insulation properties, meaning that to achieve better sound insulation, you can utilize this Stratofoon triplex. We had objects where we even put two triplexes in a package of Stratofoon, so that the sound insulation was very good. The next step is to choose the type of glass. There is regular glass, there is enlightened glass, let's say. It's just greenish, and it's green at the end. Enlightened, more transparent. That is, if you put enlightened glass, you will see very well on the street. You can even crash into this stained glass. It will not be clear even that there is glass. Regular glass is also used, but it must be energy saving inside. It is mandatory to spray and use glass that is generally inexpensive. It should be the default option everywhere now, as it only adds a 50 ruble per square meter cost to a double glazed window, which is negligible. Accordingly, energy saving should be. If we are talking about the exterior glass, you can choose multifunctional glass, as it is here. Here the glass is Guardian 5032 Neutral 5032. This is multifunctional glass. He, as you can see, displays a certain reflectivity. There is a slightly grayish shade that is noticeable. What is the principle of multifunctional glass? First of all, it works as energy saving, which means it does not emit heat. Secondly, it blocks the sunlight and does not allow the room to heat up, reduces this effect of the steam room, air conditioners get less oily. But the drawbacks of this glass are its reflectivity. And actually, someone likes the mirroring, someone says no, on the contrary, so that there is no mirroring, so that it is as transparent as possible. Hence, the customer's taste and the architect have already been chosen. This glass is multifunctional and can have various shades such as blue, green, bronze, titanium and different neutral tones. It is also maximally transparent, that is, you can adjust this reflectivity a little. There is more reflective, less reflective. There are many types of glass. It is important to choose the right type of glass. And I always make a double glazed window. Or two energy saving, that is, external and internal, two energy saving. Or cartoon and additional energy saving. Because double energy saving, energy saving itself is cheap. Therefore, the formula of the insulating glass unit, its technical qualities significantly increase. And the final thing I wanted to say is the turns of stained glass, collective farm solution, zinsing of corners. A normal solution is structural rotations, but there are nuances in structural corners. If you look at this corner, there is a lot of sealant here. Not only two glasses converge, technically this decision was made because there are many horizontal divisions. Here you can observe horizontal bars. Accordingly, there is a stand that is situated on the corner. So the vertical aluminum stand on the corner stands. These double glazed windows with a tooth are attached directly to this frame. So here is such a distance in order to fix a double glazed window there. This is not just something we came up with. It is a classic solution for structural glazing. There is a distance of approximately 25-30 millimeters between the glasses, which in terms of technical solutions of suppliers is generally simply blurred, roughly speaking, such a truncated angle. We're here, client asked, Tired of it, that's how we rounded it off for a more beautiful outcome. Another option is merging two glasses without a stand, that is, without a vertical element. And we implement such a solution when we possess a double glazed window extending from the floor to the ceiling. In this particular case, there are no vertical elements, but the horizontal elements are bars, they converge and are fastened in this manner. Attach lower latch to bracket bring top rails together on bracket, secure them, install two double glazed windows, bring corner together, not attached to vertical part there at all. In this case, by now, when we have many bars to implement such a solution, it was necessary to fix the lower one, then with a special cable, this upper one is suspended, then another upper one, and they hang on cables and are attached upside down. But we didn't do that because all those panties inside didn't look very nice. It was decided to do so, so you should also pay attention to it. Such a small technical nuance, if you don't understand, I will explain it separately later. Guys, that's all. I hope you enjoyed it and found the video useful. If you liked it, give it a like, subscribe to the channel, leave comments. I will still shoot such videos very useful.